Gavin D here from UltimateReloader.com. We're here at Mark 7 headquarters. I'm here with Spencer Carroll yet again. Thank you, Spencer. Once again, thank you for being here, Gavin. Yeah, last time we talked about Mark 7, the yes. evolution and the revolution, the technology from sort of the top down. Yep. But here we've got something else. This is actually where Mark 7 as a brand completely started. Mm -hmm. um, Jay Hirschberg being a competitive shooter, is running his Dylan 1050, shooting on the weekends or ISPA events, all that kind of stuff. He needed a way to make ammo faster. So they developed the auto drive for the 1050, and it also has been scaled down. This is actually a brand new Dylan 750 with a Mark 7 Pro auto drive, um, capable of loading rounds up to around 1,800 rounds an hour. Um, I have it set up here in 45 ACP. Um, it's gonna process a little bit of brass here for you a little bit, but same core technology, same digital motor, torque mm -hmm. sensing technologies. It knows where it is at all times. The ability to put sensors in, not as much as the evolution revolution kind of mm -hmm. line, but mm -hmm. um, definitely still enough to make progressive automated loading safer and uh, more accurate. Yeah, I think that was a smart way to go. Start yeah. with a known entity, which is the Dillon lineup of presses, yeah. really develop the core technology. And a lot of the technology for Mark 7 is in the software yes. and the motor system. Now, for those of you that haven't seen the Dillon XL, 750, it's very similar to the 650. The biggest difference being the priming system. The old telephone dial that's been familiar to you all for decades has been replaced with something that looks a lot more like what's on the RL550B, which is a slide bar priming system, yep. which I think is a good move because it's a little bit more safer. You've got that safe distance from the priming station and then this column of primers. It's also extremely reliable too. Yep, and so from the Mark 7 perspective, is the auto drive uh, completely compatible between a 650 and a 750 then? Yep, this is actually the 650 Pro auto drive. Okay. Um, it's 100% compatible for the bolt pattern and everything else bolts the same up. Being that it's a 650, you actually have to take the bottom link arm off mm -hmm. and change it. it come, everything that you need to auto drive the press comes with the kit, the base plate, the computer, the tablet, Guess all what? the wiring, everything you need, it all is just one skew, comes in, unbolt your 650, 750 for where you have it on mm -hmm. your bench, mount it on this, a little bit, 20 minutes of assembly time, you're ready to go. Very cool. So why don't you walk us through how the technology integrates with the press, and then maybe we'll look at a live demo of some loading. Yeah, so just like before on the videos with the evolution and the revolution, the core technology is in the software and in the motor technology digital clutch, torque sensing technology. Mm -hmm. It's not just a simple motor where you press start and go. It knows what's happening at all times. Just a quick example here. I have my digital clutch set at four, and that's usually where I run it when I'm doing a 45 ACP, four or five mm -hmm. on the 650. It's programmable from zero to 20. So I'm running at about 25% capacity of the motor. And I'm just gonna just do a single cycle of this at one. Digital clutch activated. So that's how I know that it's actually too, I need to set my clutch higher, yep. but this is how you know that you're not gonna get yourself into trouble and really to break things or, or really, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. It, it's Peak force should be here and then deactivate it if it's here. Right? Yeah. So you want that digital clutch to be in as low of a value as you can be, right? Because yes. it's a little bit safer, all, all speed equal. These motors are extremely powerful, and if you ran them at full tilt all the time, you start breaking stuff. Yeah. You start breaking components, you start hurting your dies, especially when you get into stuff like this. If you're running a carbide die set, you've got a couple hundred dollars invested in some nice dies. You don't want to send brass the wrong way through them. So <laughs> simply what I'll do here is I'm going to rage my digital clutch back up to where I was at five. <laughs> and the cycle and it knew that it was okay to go. Hmm. So this is what you're gonna see actually when you boot up the whole Mark 7 auto drive on this. First thing you need to do anytime you run an evolution, revolution, or an auto drive, you need to calibrate the machine. It's a simple process of pushing a button, standing back and letting it do its thing. Hmm. The main point of this is it allows the machine the home and it knows where mm -hmm. it is at all times now. This is really what allows the torque sensing and the jogging functions to work. It knows it's hard stops, it knows it's top and bottom, yep. and now it knows everywhere in between. Gotcha. So same features as before with the uh, with the Evolution Revolution. You can set your rounds per hour, or mm -hmm. set how many rounds you want to do. Sensors, just like on the other ones, adjustable on the fly. Hmm. Um, setups as well. Index speed, top dwell, all that kind of stuff. It's it's not as in depth as the Evolution Revolution, mm -hmm. but still you have a lot of control. And to go from a 650 hand press to this and have this kind of technology is it's a huge step up. Yeah. And you don't have to buy another press. Yeah. So let me run this thing quick for you. So I'm gonna just hit run here. 
So we're gonna see the stations fill up here? Yep, I'm just processing brass. It's, okay. I don't have any components in it, but I just kinda wanna see kinda what's going through. Just like on the other ones, it's completely adjustable on the fly. Let me go up to 1200 rounds an hour. Hmm. And I mean, 1200 rounds per hour, that's pretty decent. It's still <laughs> very quick. Like I say, with the evolution and the revolution, when you get up to higher speeds, it's a, it's a full-time job to keep the components <laughs> full, especially when you're running stack priming. Yeah. That's kind of, on a system like this, this is kind of your biggest constraint is, is keeping your tube full. Yeah. So it's- And you're gonna, are you gonna stop it to, you know, fill the tube and all that typically? No, it's usually, if, if you could time it right, this does have a low, a low primer sensor on it, which is available, which mm -hmm. will stop the machine actually if it detects the primer is getting too low. Gotcha. But you should be able to, and you get a nice, you get a nice rhythm, you get a nice cadence, you have a little bit of bullets, you have some tubes of primers already ready mm -hmm. to go from your tube filler, mm -hmm. and you're filling cases, you're putting bullets in, you're doing primers, <laughs> you're checking it all out. It's, it's, and you're making a lot of ammo. Yeah, and if you have any kind of shoulder issues, ACL, any disabilities, yeah. I know some of my viewers have those kinds of issues. Yes. And, and this would be, I think, a great tool if you still want to load bulk ammo. And if you can still shoot, of course, yes. at least you're not going to have those issues with repetitive stress and whatnot. It's a great way to get yourself entry level into the Mark 7 mm -hmm. technology. It's kind of get yourself on the bottom floor and mm -hmm. see kind of, is this automated reloading for you? And then maybe you move up from there. But this mm -hmm. is still a great system to have. Yep. And then you could, you could actually uh, take it off the machine if you wanted to, right? Yep. Yeah, no, it's, it can come off and it can be easily converted back to a hand press, no problem at all. Very cool. So if people want to know more about this product? Um, visit us over at LimeRproducts.com or go over to Mark 7's website. Um, full feature on all these things and there should be many more videos on these to come. I totally want one of these. <laughs> Thanks, Spencer, for joining me. No problem. If you want to see more related content about Lyman and Mark 7, make sure you subscribe with notifications because I got a lot more planned. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.